Hi, my name is Tim. I went to high school in the 80s at Burl High near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Back then I was a geek, I was a nerd, I was a band fag. I got called all those names and worse. I didn't know it then, but I was afraid. I was afraid I might be gay. I didn't know any better, so I closed up. The series of videos called It Gets Better is aimed at gay kids who feel alone, afraid, trapped, maybe suicidal. Not just gay kids, but lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning, you're, you're not sure. Uh, and all of, it's aimed, this series is aimed at all of, the, all of these kids. My story's a little different. I never thought I was gay in high school. I never tried to commit suicide. I had locked up that part of me so tightly that I thought I was doomed to never find somebody to love me. I made excuses. I haven't met the right girl yet. Or I would tell myself that staring at the quarterback and cute guys was just a natural thing. All boys did it, right? I got bullied for being a fag, but just let it roll off my back. The fact was that I was gay, but I had no idea. I buried that essential aspect of myself so deeply that it took me years to figure it out. You see, like I said, I was afraid I might be gay, but there were no positive gay role models in my life. Not at school, not at home, not in the church, not in the community. Gay men were the butt of jokes and caricatures on TV. That wasn't me. I couldn't identify with them, so therefore I couldn't be gay. A book I read about sexuality said that gay men could never be happy and could never find love. It was a sickness. That wasn't me, so I locked up those feelings even tighter. I'm here to tell you that you can be happy as a gay man or woman and it does get better. If I had even one positive gay role model in my life, a teacher, a relative, or even a gay positive friend, I would have figured it out much sooner and been so much happier. Maybe even gay positive books in the library at school. It turns out that one of my best friends was gay, uh, but he was afraid to tell anyone, even me. I wish I could have talked to him or someone to reassure me that being okay was, first of all, an option, and that it was going to be okay. And so I could tell him it would be okay for him. Believe me, it, it does get better. There are resources to help you get through this time of bullying and uncertainty. I don't know about Lower Burl, but many schools have a gay straight alliance. If you just need to talk to someone, call the Trevor Project. Google it, trevorproject.org. It's a completely confidential resource for kids and young adults who are afraid about being gay and need to talk to someone, anyone, or talk to me. Send a message on YouTube or call me, my phone number, 415-359-7598. If you go to school in a conservative or rural area like I did, uh, find a way to go to college in a bigger city or get a job in a bigger city uh, when you graduate. Uh, you'll find friends, clubs, support from other people like you, and who know that being gay is normal and is to be celebrated. Believe me, the bullying will end and it gets so much better. The first time you admit to yourself that you're gay or lesbian or, or transgender or queer is scary. But the first time you share that with someone, your best friend, a favorite relative, even a stranger, it's empowering. Life gets so much more interesting and fun. You'll see, trust me. I'm in my 40s now, and I'm married to a wonderful man named Jordan. We've been together for 18 years. I've had a successful career in Silicon Valley, and I own a beautiful Victorian home in San Francisco, and I couldn't be happier. And believe me, it does get better.